Hello, welcome back to Meditating the Word. My name is Cherie. I'm your host and fellow traveler on this journey through the Bible in a year. Whether you've been reading the Bible for years, or if this is your first time to read it, from Genesis to Revelation, I'm so glad to have you with us. We are in the ninth month of our journey, and we still have a lot of people to meet and a lot of places to visit. So let's jump into today's passage. This is day 251. Today we are reading Ezekiel chapters 37 through 39. I'm reading from the World English Bible. Let's get started. The Book of Ezekiel chapters 37 through 39. The Lord's hand was on me, and he brought me out in the Lord's spirit and set me down in the middle of the valley, and it was full of bones. He caused me to pass by them all around, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and behold, they were very dry. He said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? I answered, Lord, O Lord, you know. Again he said to me, Prophesy over these bones and tell them, You dry bones, hear the Lord's word. The Lord says to these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you will live. I will lay sinews on you, and will bring up flesh on you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you will live. Then you will know that I am the Lord." So I prophesied as I was commanded. As I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, there was an earthquake. Then the bones came together, bone to its bone. I saw, and behold, there were sinews on them, and flesh came up, and skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophesy to the wind, prophesy, son of man. And tell the wind, the Lord says, Come from the four winds' breath, and breathe on these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them. And they lived, and stood up on their feet, an exceedingly great army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried up, and our hope is lost. We are completely cut off. Therefore prophesy and tell them, the Lord says, Behold, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves, my people, and I will bring you into the land of Israel. You will know that I am the Lord, when I have opened your graves and caused you to come out of your graves, my people. I will put my spirit in you, and you will live. Then I will place you in your own land, and you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, says the Lord. The Lord's word came again to me, saying, You, son of man, take one stick and write on it, for Judah, and for the children of Israel, his companions. Then take another stick, and write on it, for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions. Then join them for yourself to one another into one stick, so that they may become one in your hand. When the children of your people speak to you, saying, Won't you show us what you mean by these? Tell them, The Lord says, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel, his companions, and I will put them with it, with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they will be one in my hand. The sticks on which you write will be in your hand before their eyes. Say to them, The Lord says, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations where they have gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them into their own land. 
I will make one nation in the land, on the mountains of Israel. One king will be king to them all. They will no longer be two nations. They won't be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. They won't defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places in which they have sinned, and will cleanse them. So they will be my people, and I will be their God. My servant David will be king over them. They all will have one shepherd. They will also walk in my ordinances and observe my statutes and do them. They will dwell in the land that I have given to Jacob, my servant, in which your fathers lived. They will dwell therein, they and their children, and their children's children, forever. David, my servant, will be their prince forever. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. It will be an everlasting covenant with them. I will place them, multiply them, and will set my sanctuary among them forevermore. My tent also will be with them. I will be their God, and they will be my people. The nations will know that I am the Lord who sanctifies Israel when my sanctuary is among them forevermore. The Lord's word came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face toward Gog of the land of Magog, the prince of Rosh, Meshech, and Tubal, and prophesy against him and say, The Lord says, Behold, I am against you, Gog, prince of Rosh, Meshech, and Tubal. I will turn you around and put hooks in your jaws, and I will bring you out with all your army, horses, and horsemen, all of them clothed in full armor, a great company with buckler and shield, all of them handling swords, Persia, Cush, and Put with them, all of them with shield and helmet, Gomer and all his hordes, the house of Togarma in its uttermost parts of the north, and all his hordes, even many peoples with you. Be prepared, yes, prepare yourself, you and all your companies who are assembled to you, and be a guard to them. After many days you will be visited. In the latter years you will come into the land that is brought back from the sword, that is gathered out of my peoples on the mountain of Israel, which have been a continual waste, but it is brought out of the peoples and they will dwell securely, all of them. You will ascend. You will come like a storm. You will be like a cloud to cover the land, you and all your hordes, and many peoples with you. The Lord says, It will happen in that day, that things will come into your mind, and you will devise an evil plan. You will say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages, I will go to those who are at rest, who dwell securely, all of them dwelling without walls, and having neither bars nor gates, to take the plunder and to take prey, to turn your hand against the waste places that are inhabited, and against the people who are gathered out of the nations, who have gotten livestock and goods, who dwell in the middle of the earth. Sheba, Dedan, and the merchants of Tarshish, with all its young lions, will ask you, Have you come to take the plunder? Have you assembled your company to take the prey, to carry away silver and gold, to take away livestock and goods, to take great plunder? Therefore, son of man, prophesy, and tell Gog, the Lord says, In that day when my people Israel dwells securely, Will you not know it? Will you come from your place out of the uttermost parts of the north, you and many peoples with you, all of them riding on horses, a great company and a mighty army? You will come up against my people Israel as a cloud to cover the land. It will happen 
in the latter days, that I will bring you against my land, that the nations may know me when I am sanctified in you, Gog, before their eyes. The Lord says, Are you he of whom I spoke in old time by my servants, the prophets of Israel, who prophesied in those days for years that I would bring you against them? It will happen in that day, when Gog comes against the land of Israel, says the Lord, that my wrath will come up into my nostrils, for in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath I have spoken. Surely in that day there will be a great shaking in the land of Israel, so that the fish of the sea and the birds of the sky, the animals of the field, all creeping things who creep on the earth, and all the men who are on the surface of the earth, will shake at my presence. Then the mountains will be thrown down, the steep places will fall, and every wall will fall to the ground. I will call for a sword against him to all my mountains, says the Lord. Every man's sword will be against his brother. I will enter into judgment with him, with pestilence and with blood. I will rain on him, on his hordes, and on the many peoples who are with him, torrential rains with great hailstones, fire and sulfur. I will magnify myself and sanctify myself, and I will make myself known in the eyes of many nations. Then they will know that I am the Lord. You, son of man, prophesy against Gog and say, The Lord says, Behold, I am against you, Gog, Prince of Rosh, Meshach, and Tubal. I will turn you around, will lead you on, and will cause you to come up from the uttermost parts of the north. And I will bring you into the mountain of Israel. I will strike your bow out of your left hand, and will cause your arrows to fall out of your right hand. You will fall on the mountains of Israel you and all your hordes and the peoples who are with you. I will give you to the ravenous birds of every sort and to the animals of the field to be devoured. You will fall on the open field, for I have spoken it, says the Lord. I will send a fire on Magog and on those who dwell securely in the islands. Then they will know that I am the Lord." I will make my holy name known among my people, Israel. I won't allow my holy name to be profaned any more. Then the nations will know that I am the Lord, the Holy One in Israel. Behold, it comes, it will be done, says the Lord. This is the day about which I have spoken. Those who dwell in the cities of Israel will go out and will make fires of the weapons and burn them both the shields and the bucklers, the bows and the arrows, and the war clubs and the spears, and they will make fires with them for seven years, so that they will take no wood out of the field and not cut down any of the forests, for they will make fires with the weapons. They will plunder those who plundered them and rob those who robbed them, says the Lord. It will happen in that day that I will give to Gog a place for burial in Israel, the valley of those who pass through on the east of the sea, and it will stop those who pass through. They will bury Gog and all his multitude there, and they will call it the valley of Haman Gog. The house of Israel will be burying them for seven months, that they may cleanse the land. Yes, all the people of the land will bury them and they will become famous in the day that I will be glorified, says the Lord. They will set apart men of continual employment who will pass through the land. Those who pass through will go with those who bury those who remain on the surface of the land to cleanse it. After the end of seven months, they will search. Those who search through the land will pass through, and when anyone sees a man's bone, then he will set up a sign by it until the undertakers have buried it in the valley of Haman Gog. Hamonah will also be the name of a city. Thus they will cleanse the land. 
You, son of man, the Lord says, speak to the birds of every sort and to every animal of the field. Assemble yourselves and come. Gather yourselves on every side to my sacrifice that I sacrifice for you. Even a great sacrifice on the mountains of Israel, that you may eat meat and drink blood. You shall eat the flesh of the mighty and drink the blood of the princes of the earth, of rams, of lambs, and of goats, of bulls, all of them fatlings of Bashan. You shall eat fat until you are full and drink blood until you are drunk of my sacrifice, which I have sacrificed for you. You shall be filled at my table with horses and charioteers, with mighty men, and with all men of war, says the Lord. I will set my glory among the nations. Then all the nations will see my judgment that I have executed, and my hand that I have laid on them. So the house of Israel will know that I am the Lord their God from that day and forward. The nations will know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity, because they trespassed against me, and I hid my face from them. So I gave them into the hand of their adversaries, and they all fell by the sword. I did to them according to their uncleanness, and according to their transgressions. I hid my face from them. Therefore, the Lord says, Now, I will reverse the captivity of Jacob and have mercy on the whole house of Israel. I will be jealous for my holy name. They will forget their shame and all their trespasses by which they have trespassed against me when they dwell securely in their land. No one will make them afraid when I have brought them back from the peoples, gathered them out of their enemies' lands, and am shown holy among them in the sight of many nations. They will know that I am the Lord their God, in that I caused them to go into captivity among the nations and have gathered them to their own land. Then I will leave none of them captive any more. I won't hide my face from them any more. For I have poured out my spirit on the house of Israel, says the Lord. Father God, you haven't just set your glory among the nations, but you have set it within each of us. You have poured out your spirit on Hebrew and Gentile alike. You have brought us back into right relationship with you, Father. You made these dry bones live and breathed new life into us. Thank you for the gift of salvation, for eternal life, and for life more abundant right here on earth, on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Well, there we have it, another chapter in our journey through the Bible. It isn't always easy to understand, but remember, it isn't a race, and each word we read is a seed planted in our hearts. Thank you for being part of this journey. Join us tomorrow and every day as we continue our journey through the pages of the Bible. This is Cherie signing off for the day. Remember, you are in my prayers. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Until next time. Be blessed and be a blessing.